Joker? I, I can't imagine it's too great. Um, for, the, yeah. for the big bloke with the sword. Yeah. But, uh... Enzy very smart. For but, uh... Sure. Jura? Just had, a, just had a pretty good showing at EBS. Right. Do you know who he beat? Uh, he beat, uh... Extra... Wow. Oh. Kami... And... Game 5 with Bradley, I think. Wow. And it was a better player loss, too. Yep. Um, I think Inzi's very good with those, like, down-air two-frames. Um, and Joker's uh, stand up He's probably going to yeah, set him up really well to get hit by that. So that could kind of even out some, some stocks. That being said, I'm excited. You love it when two players who've never played before, like, play each other. Yeah. Because you get to see all the tricks. Well, so no Inzi, Inzi definitely has some tricks that he, he likes to pull off. And, you know, they don't work with people you've played 20 times in bracket. Yeah. Good air dodge just through the pressure there. Oh, obviously, Ike doesn't really have the movement to be able to pressure past one air dodge. Right. You're uh, a very fast player. Uh, plays at a very fast yeah. speed. Whereas Inzi, I mean, obviously that's the nature of Ike is that you slow things down yeah. a little. He actually, he actually is pretty. He, he's not as defensive as you'd think for for an Ike player. Yeah. Definitely likes to get in your face. Uh, yeah. making you sweat rather than playing sort of back. Solid roll read there. Uh, taking out the stock. Alright, and looks like Inzi's content with his lead. Happy to just get a hit and see what Jura does. Get some, get some information. Yeah, I think the main thing here is that you want to get... You definitely want percent off before the next stock because uh, you don't want to deal with Arsene very long. Yeah, I mean, if Inzi can get our setup, and it's only a couple of hits away, yeah. uh, and then just run it down, like he'll be he'll be in a great position going into the next stop. So here we are. So if he can just keep him in disadvantage, I mean, it's going to be a great situation. Yeah, it's a bit of an ask, but even at this point now, even if you lose the next stock, you uh, Joke is going at it with less ass than yeah. So that's what you want. And look, he's straight up just camping it out. Oh wow. my god! Great, like uh, I guess. I mean, it was awareness. Yeah, awareness. Yeah, yeah, to, to obviously, it's not necessarily a difficult reaction if you're expecting it. Yeah. But if you're not res expecting it, you have to have that foresight. I think, okay, completely safe. Inzi's been using a lot of that. Um, it has been getting cancelled out by uh, Jura's guns. But I guess there he got close enough where he went, well, I'm not going to get guns, so I'm just throwing it out. Oh, you have to be so careful here now. Nah, you don't want to die in. Ooh. There's actually, there's actually definitely a world where Jura gets forward air there off the in. Really? Yeah. Um, and if you're low enough, uh, you, like down throw dare is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you want to be wary of that one. Yeah. Not many jokers in deck. We had a uh, bin play joker for a while, but no one uh, and Trungi. But no one, no one too crazy yeah. to give us sort of the source on what we need to do. In this We've country. had um had a lot of people kind of pick them up at the start and like played them on and off, but no yeah. one really stuck with the character. And we obviously had Ghost coming down here, uh, yeah. pre pre sort of COVID, uh, playing a lot of Joker, but oh, just F tilts that side bit. Right now they are center. Yeah, waiting out just See, enough. This is the scary part. So now the game's even, yeah. and it's literally just because our center's still on the board. Alright, Inzi gets his way back to center. Really important here. Oh, good way out. Is he dead? Oh. Um, Inzi's been catching him a lot with his dash attack at ledge. Um, Jura seems to be getting stuck there without shields up. Oh my god. He's in trouble here. Oh. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. Alright, impressive stuff from Jura. Uh, taking out game one. Yeah, just a lot of stuff where he's, he's very switched on. Yeah. Like the counter on the first stock, getting that recovery there. Yeah. Um, and I think we saw there, most of that game, uh, Jura was playing from behind. Yeah. Um, and I think in this matchup, the moment Joker's got that lead, uh, the matchup just swings around to being very I mean, Joker Even when Joker, yeah, dominant. so because Joker was behind, yeah, essentially the entire game. And I mean, it looked fine, it looked comfortable. Yeah. Because uh, the Arsene is such a threat. 
Yeah, and you still have that pressure with the projectiles where your opponent can't just stand back. And yeah, it's definitely not. If, yeah, you can't. Inzi would probably love to just sit back and chill out and yeah. let the clock go, but uh, Joker's so fast, there's so many tools to deal with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, big call out on that aerial drift. Uh, converting into a lot of damage there. Alright, I mean, PS2, decent stage for Ike. Obviously, those conversions are really, really active here. Oh. A little hesitant after he gets the uh, tumble. Wow. An interesting option from Inzi, I must say. Yeah. Uh, now he's in a bit of trouble. Essentially, anything is going to kill here, yeah. including up smash. And now 84%. Oh okay. My goodness. And yeah, I was gonna say it's still like kind of one interaction before stuff kills, but there that uh, that combo into the kill there. Indy, Indy loves you still on the ledge. Even uh, I mean, the only real thing you can do against the FTL is jump. And if yeah. you've got the timing down, there's really oh my god, I think through it. Yeah. Uh, using that armor really solidly. And Inzi's getting a lot of these two-hit combos, but it feels like Drew is able to land after that second hit um, and not letting Inzi extend his advantage. Yeah, it's a lot harder with Ike now since all of his... Pretty sure most of his moves got, like, increased knockback growth. Yeah. So, especially at percents like 87, you're generally only getting one Ooh. or two hits. All right, Arsene's about to disappear, but Drew gets one last back air before it goes. Fraction slow on punishing that side D, but he put himself in the right place, so I'm sure next time he'll get it. Right, a little sloppy there. Death tilt's in the wrong direction. Wow. Inzi he throws... must have been sleeping, I think. Yeah, Inzi throws out <laughs> enough nares, eventually one of them hits. <laughs> oh, wow. Could have gotten a bit more, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it was close to that, that extension coming through. Exactly. And as I was about to say, Jura looking like he's in a bit of trouble. Is he dead? Oh my god. Well, now Jura's definitely looking like he's in a bit of trouble because he, he took an extra 30% after he got Arsene down. Yeah, so 82%. Obviously, if, it's, if he takes the stock, Arsene's then gone. Um, and Inzi's one or two conversions away from just taking it. Wooshka. 82 from the bear. Yeah, there that's we are. That's a bit are. of rage. That's a bit of... Like back here. Right. Honestly, it's actually impressive to me that Jura is playing so well against basically all our good players. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's the sort of... Like we were talking about, his intuition in the first game. Yeah. It's these sort of skills that you get... Uh, you, you develop them over like three or four years playing the game. And it... He's so, like, new and young that it's honestly impressive that he's playing, like, I don't know, kind of confidently. Like, you you, you, you watch Deku play, and he's obviously quite, like, very good. Yeah. And it looks like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. But there's almost a hint of, like... Unfamiliarity yeah, with the like, tournament just, experience. Yeah, like, just with everything, right? And it honestly looks like Juris play is so confident. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, I think we saw that Deku, like, hit a zero to death against Seb, and then he just, like, kept holding in, and it felt like he kind of... He, he kind of lost that composure that he had. Yeah. Whereas with Jura, um, he's got that kind of tournament readiness, despite not having that much experience under his belt at uh, real life tournaments. Uh, so that Just like all this, like, how, how the hell does he know what to do against Ike? <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. What Ike, what Ike practice does he have? I don't know, man. Yeah, and very quick start here. He's on an absolute roll in this game. 30 seconds in, and uh, Inzi is on the edge of his first stock being taken. Jesus Christ. Oh, good air dodge. Knows he's going to go straight to ledge, so not much room to punish it. And Inzi looks like he's just not allowed to play right now, but... Oh, getting a bit... Okay, oh. bit of an extension here. 
Yeah, I like the back air. Drew is being able to land fairly well. So Inzi choosing to extend his combos by uh, horizontally instead of vertically is really good. Oh my god. Maybe waiting for a bit of an air dodge. But yeah. That fence hit him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, Inzi falls out of that uh, down gun. Oh, good patience from Inzi. Nearly gets rewarded for it. Wow. No? Okay. Right, Surprised we even got the sparks there. Yeah, decent DI though. Goes straight to the corner. All right, they're taking it slow. And it's kind of what I was talking about with Jura choosing to sit back with the lead. Yeah. But Inzi just catches them with a straight nair there, I think. Okay. Oh, reverse nair? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's what he wanted. Nah, yeah. I, I paid, I reckon. <laughs> just to show him he can. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Inzi with some sub decisions, I think, with these side bees on the stage. Just did such a good job of uh, pulling these out. Oh my god. So, it's really. Oh, oh, oh. beautiful. Um, I think it's interesting to note Jura's usage of the F-Tilt. Um, I think he's using it a lot more than we usually see Jokers use it. But he's kind of using it as that quick, semi-safe punish. And then once Inzi's in disadvantage, then that's when Jura's willing to kind of commit a bit more. Yeah. Um, so the F-Tilt's just there to try and get that advantage state up, not for kind of that initial damage. Just pop the finger side B. Yeah, good spacing from Jura. Just jabs in there, that works. Oh my goodness. That was very scary. Uh, and Joker Arsene is about to come out with Inzi on his last stock. It, you hate thinking this way, but you need to take this stock off like pretty soon or yeah, for essentially sure. not play for the next 30 seconds. Although Arsene's nearly gone. Um, this will be, by the time Juru gets back on stage, he'll be, he'll be regular Joker. And we can work from 69%. We can work from 82%, I'm sure. Yep. Um, but Inzi needs to find this kill, I reckon. Yeah, and we're seeing Jura shield a bit more. Uh, I think in their first two games, Jura was not shielding much at all, and he was getting caught by like Inzi's like dash attacks and stuff. But now he's going, he's recognizing that Ike doesn't have that much out of a grab at this sort of percent. Um, and so he's throwing out that shield and hoping that Inzi throws out an unsafe dash attack or F tilt. I mean, it honestly looks like, oh Jesus. It honestly looks like he's worked out some of like Inzi's defensive habits. Yeah. It looks like he's catching on very well into, like you said about the F-Tilt, like he's completely fine with just putting Inzi in disadvantage because he's doing such a good job of keeping him there. Yeah. Oh, this might be it. Okay, just a dash attack. But rinse and repeat the edge guard. Man, it looks like he's nowhere to go when he's recovering back. Oh, and Jura just using the Phantom Footstool, just moving all over him. And Arsene's about to come back out. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, Wake's there, just giving a bit more time for Arsene to come back out. Really smart. Yeah, now you're done, though. He's finished. Okay. Oh, another one of those trusty f tilts. Honestly, that move is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. The week and a half that I played Joker, F tilt, 80% of the, uh, the lexicon, if you would. Wow. Look okay. at this. Yeah. Kill move with Arsene, like solid punish. And fairly active, so there's that chance that you'll catch like a like a jump from ledge, yeah. which is pretty important. Okay, we got a controller sword? Some? Uh, just a drink bottle, I think. No, he's unwrapping. I don't think he's unwrapping oh. his drink bottle. No. He's going too long for that. Oh, actually, um, I believe Indy's controller broke um, prior to Pro Bracket starting. Okay. So I think he was borrowing a controller, so he oh. might have found something a little off with that controller and he swapped to a, diff swapped to a different controller. Swapped back to his broken controller? Well, you uh, reckon he was like, hey, fuck it, I'll play on my I broken he, controller. Uh, I reckon he might have several controllers that he's borrowing, and he just went like, you know, there was something a little off with okay. this controller, so he's just gone to another one. Uh, but it's possible he's gone back to the broken control. I'm not sure exactly how broken it was. Alright, Jura uncharacteristically missing a standing grab there. Uh, generally very good with his spacing. And 
Oh my god, yeah. He's gonna be giving us some free RC. Yeah, Inzi getting that um up B out of pressure quite a lot. In Inzi the loves the yeah, the neutral get up up B. Essentially not punishable. Well Jura's shown that he can punish it. Yeah. But um without our send, his reward seems to mostly be just like a little bit of meter, uh, as opposed to a kill. Yeah. That we saw with our uh, Tetra Calm. Right, good movement around the platform. A fair little aerial left tilt there. And might be placebo on Enzi's part, but he's definitely looking a lot just more confident. Oh, that, that might be it. Yeah. yeah. Not being as predictable and disadvantage, I think, is the main thing. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, and the actor was showing its weakness there. He was so far away that he couldn't really catch Inzi uh, before he was back on stage. Uh, misses the trump. Oh, wow. And Juris really been saving that one, right? Like, he was going for the yeah. safe punishes, and then he goes, Okay, look, I'm a little bit down. If I win this game, that's it. I'm just going to go for the up smash. Uh, pays off. Ooh. Actually, such a cute combo with the... Uh... Oh, this could be done. Oh my god. Oh no. So, yeah, so many things. Firstly, the late nair, cute combo into the back air. It was lovely. Yeah. Secondly, I don't know, someone died. So, Jura, Jura yeah, getting the, getting the flip the switch. Ike was definitely in a bit of trouble with uh, the down bees being so good against recovery, but yeah. unfortunately, yeah, getting hit by it, buffing the air dodge. Jura, and not letting it phase him. Quick 55.5% here. Uh, but Inzi back in advantage. Inzi's looking so much better, actually. Yeah, and it feels like these down airs, like, they're going to start hitting eventually. Uh, like, there's there's a limited amount of timing mix you can do, and Joker's recovery is slow enough that you do get, like, a bit of a reaction there. It doesn't have to be a timing read. Ooh. Cute. Yeah, just flashes the shield, uh, knows what's coming. Jura a little slow there, but Inzi, no punish. Alright, does feel like Jura's kind of, Oh, Does feel like Jura's kind of the one with the momentum here, but he's got a long way to go. I never thought I'd say perfect dash stack spacing from Ike, but <laughs> we just saw it. Alright, Jura, recognizing how safe that back air was, just rolls out of the pressure. Alright, and ooh, ooh. here we go. Very doable for Jura. I mean, yeah. Oh. So lost. <laughs> Dunzo. It was definitely, yeah, definitely doable, but uh, seemingly a lot harder, especially at this level, because uh, Ike's kill moves are so much more, like, yeah, just, just F tilt. Yeah. If he gets hit by it, I'm Even invincible. With no rage yeah. at 100%. <laughs> Um, I think it was nice. Inzi, he was going for those high side Bs, and then at the end there, when Jura was sitting back to try and cover them, he was just going to ledge. Yeah. That's kind of the classic I can mix up on his recovery. He's actually been doing the high side B essentially the whole set. Yeah. And then in the last, maybe, stock and a half, started yeah getting back to stage for free. We've seen both of them pull out some tricks and change the game, change their, sort of, the way they're playing over the last four games. So yep. Back it'll be to interesting PS2. to see how the game five goes. All right, unfortunate side B there, but Inzi doesn't capitalize too hard. All right, air dodges out. Feels like Inzi's one read away from like reading that air dodge and just killing Jura for This is it. actually so dangerous, oh my God. Oh, all right. Joker Nair, obviously combos are like any position. Like you can just hit Nair on anyone at any point and it'll combo into something. Oh, goes Drew right underneath. Drew's getting a bit side B happy. Like, it was putting in work for him the first few games, but... Yeah. yeah. It feels it feels good when he's ahead and he can force Inzi to come in. But when he's down, Inzi kind of has that patience. Yeah. And like we said in game one, he definitely has the tools to deal with it. Yeah. But now being down, like, the momentum's completely changed. Like, Inzi looks like a completely different player from game three. Absolutely. Maybe it was the controller. Yeah, maybe it was. And that's, you know what, honestly, that's a mental boom in itself. 
Yeah, even, that, if, even if it didn't have any effect, yeah. like mentally he feels different. Yeah, he feels different, and you're sitting there going, oh man, his controller was ruined the whole, like, what am I doing? Yeah, His yeah. controller was burned the whole time. <laughs> oh, Slappy oh. again, not punishing it. It is very hard to punish. Like, I think we've been spoiled from how much Drew yeah, he's was been, punishing Yeah, he's been doing it. so well, like... Uh, yeah, pretty. God, Inzi's actually playing so much better. Predictable uh, tether cancel there. Yeah, and Inzi just spacing these F tilts. The moment one hits, uh, Drew is down to his last stock. Wow. Oh. Oh my god, dealing away, almost copping it. The rolls <laughs> in. He's been saving that one. Don't think that's <laughs> happened this set. Okay, dash oh, jack. Yeah. Inzi looking like a new man. Inzi recognizing exactly when Jura chose to come in. Like, they, they were both moving around that center. Yeah. And then Inzi recognized when Jura drifted in a little bit more and knew he was coming in. Just throws out the dash attack. And Inzi plays, when he's got the lead, man, he plays it so well. It works right into his play style. Yep. Well, we could see. Definitely oh. not, like, the end of the world. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. And that might have been the momentum stop that Inzi needed to finish off this set. Yeah, if Jura had a kept that combo yeah, up. Jura was looking like a new man. And like 83% with no meter, it means our scent not really coming out. No fucking way, right? Good DI. Oh my God. Wow. That's bad DI. Okay. That was He's got no jump. Really actually. good catch though. Actually, I actually like that. Okay. There we are. If they'll put him work, actually, low key. For both players. Yeah. Uh, but Inzi, it looked like once he was ahead and had that percent where Eftel would kill, he'd just space Eftel and go the mo like it prevents Jura from doing any sort of dashing in. Yeah. It forces it's Jura to come in over the top. A very hard move to sort of deal with. Alright, looks like we're getting Corvid and Deku. 